Anterior Temporal Lobectomy, Wikipedia Article Audio Anterior temporal lobectomy is the complete removal of the anterior portion of the temporal lobe of the brain. It is a treatment option in temporal lobe epilepsy for those in whom anticonvulsant medications do not control epileptic seizures. The techniques for removing temporal lobe tissue vary from resection of large amounts of tissue, including lateral temporal cortex along with medial structures, to more restricted anterior temporal lobectomy to more restricted removal of only the medial structures. Nearly all reports of seizure outcome following these procedures indicate that the best outcome group includes patients with MRI evidence of mesial temporal sclerosis. The range of seizure-free outcomes for these patients is reported to be between 80 and 90 percent, which is typically reported as a subset of data within a larger surgical series. Open surgical procedures such as ATL have inherent risks including damage to the brain, bleeding, blood loss, and infection. Furthermore, open procedures require several days of care in the hospital including at least one night in an intensive care unit. Although such treatment can be costly, Multiple studies have demonstrated that ATL in patients who have failed at least two anticonvulsant drug trials has lower mortality, lower morbidity, and lower long-term cost in comparison with continued medical therapy without surgical intervention. The strongest evidence supporting ATL over continued medical therapy for medically refractory temporal lobe epilepsy is a perspective randomized trial of ATL compared to best medical therapy, which convincingly demonstrated that the seizure-free rate after surgery was 60% as compared to only 8% for the medicine-only group. Furthermore, there was no mortality in the surgery group, while there was seizure-related mortality in the medical therapy group. Therefore, ATL is considered the standard of care for patients with medically intractable mesial temporal lobe epilepsy.